My name is Pantsless, Detective Richard Pantsless. I'm a sleuth, a spy, a Seamus. I work the lonely avenues of Naked City, a city with a million stories and a few people too. Lonely people who walk their dogs in the enveloping fog without scoopers. Damn it. I love to solve a mystery, to right a wrong that needed rightening, to feel the wind against my shins. The Pantsless Detective, in color, in a Smitty's Ransom, Act One, Pieces is Pieces. I was catching up on the trades when she walked in the room. The usual bills. I thought we left no forwarding address. Damned efficient post office. Someone must have slipped this in by hand. There's no postmark. Oops. What's that? Letters, Dick. More like a note, Temperance, but it doesn't make any sense. It's missing letters, Dick. There. Panties, baby, you spice had a cretin. No turn if you have seen about later. You shave nothing to missus and how what nothing of you. Any change? We be as tough. Still doesn't make any sense. There. Pantsless, maybe you noticed that a certain intern of yours hasn't been around lately. You have something of Mr. W's and now he has something of yours. An exchange? We'll be in touch. In turn. Smitty. Mr. W? Bruno. Bruno Weisenheimer? The mysterious crime kingpin who rules with- Bruno's gang has snatched Smitty. But why? I don't have anything of Weisenheimer's. You did return his thug, right? Not that he wanted him back, but yes. If only Smitty were here, I'd put him on the case. I wonder what McAdams knows. But he's your biggest rival. I'll have to chance it, Temperance. I have no clue. You said it, not me. What was that? I said, shall I get him on the line for you? No, Temperance. This is something better done face to club. On a hunch, I decided to go to Smitty's favorite place just as I would when I needed to consult him. If McAdams did know something about Smitty, he might be hanging around one of Smitty's known haunts. Well, well, little Dicky Pantsless, here on a hunch. That's Richard to you, McAdams. What brings you here? I came on a whim. Since when are you a night pigeon person? They grow on you, McAdams. Or maybe you're here for something else. Just the brisk night pigeon filled air, Billy Club. That's William Club. One might ask the same question of a known bird hater like you. One what? One night pigeon person, maybe. An up and comer still growing into his trench coat. Smitty, maybe. Who said anything about Smitty? I did. Just now. He's a real night pigeon guy. Helps him think. Put the missing pieces together. Who said anything was missing? Or anyone, for that matter. Or that the two are related in any way. Kind of thing a mysterious crime kingpin might contemplate, don't you think? Tit for tat. Not exotic dancing, McAdams. I'm talking kidnapping, extortion. I meant an exchange. Maybe someone has something that someone else can only get by snatching that first someone's only real asset to force an exchange. This for that. Tit for tat. I still don't get the stripper angle. The police department would be very interested in something that Bruno is also interested in. That would be? Maybe you can tell me. I have nothing to tell. We'll find out eventually. Then you could tell me. Don't stay out too late, Sarge. That's Sergeant to you, Pantsless. What time is McAdams' curfew? Where will Pantsless go now? You call that a cliffhanger? Find out next time on The Pantsless Detective.
Tune in next time for another exciting episode of The Petsless Detective.